So we have got them lined up for cleanup and detailing. So today we're doing something a little different than my previous details. Uh, we're doing a, a personal cart, a high-end, uh, you know, a fancy cart. As compared to the previous details were directed at fleet carts for clubs, golf club fleets, and resellers of those leased fleet vehicles. So this is our before. Little short video, see what we're working with. I'm gonna do a touch of wet sanding to correct that. But this detail will be a finer detail than the previous videos in that this will not take a considerable amount of restoration work. We can truly just focus on finer aspects of detailing. So our essentials for our wash today. Dense foam cleaning pad or a magic eraser. Today we're using a little different technique than on the fleet vehicles for washing using a microphone mitt, soft tip brush, and one of my favorites, old school tire cleaner, which I will dilute 50-50 or a one-to-one -one dilution. That stuff is quite strong and has quite a strong pH. Uh, I do not recommend that for regular wash. This type of cleaning we're doing on this one is just pre-detail prep cleaning only. For regular wash, the pH on that would just be too strong and considering we're, we will be sealing this vehicle with Renew Protect products, you just won't need any strong cleaners whatsoever once we have completed this detail. Detail prep is done. Fixed a couple bad spots. That's the finished. The close up on that finish before we seal it, buff it. Our vinyl. Perfectly clean. Floor on this thing, floor mat, a little fading, not too bad. We will fully restore that, restore all these plastics. I'm not sure if the camera will pick this up, but that is not perfect. Vinyl is porous and holds on to a little bit of everything until you seal it with Renew Protect Gloss or Renew Protect Satin, which we are going to do and this won't be an issue in the future. But to perfect it, we're gonna use my favorite trick. My diluted high pH tire cleaner. Dense foam cleaning pad. This is, as you can hear, it's gripping the surface at a very fine level, a little finite level, and pulling mildew, dirt, debris, fine particles, lifting it out of this porous surface. So as you can probably see, the camera is probably picking that up. That is a much wider vinyl now, and we can, um, so now, dry it, clean it thoroughly, make sure there's no de residue of the deter detergents, in the vinyl, in the porous surface. We're gonna seal that with satin, or maybe our higher gloss, gloss product. So this type of cleaning will never be necessary again. And another quick example for our little foam, our magic eraser. Steering wheels, it's great for the steering wheels because as much as uh, the vinyl surface, the dirt, well, actually the oils and materials from your skin get embedded in the surface, in the grain of the surface, and this will pull it right out. And we will... So we've got a little damage from our acrylic windscreen, and 
this is going to be a little beyond the abilities of our cart compound polish sealer product our one step product so simple step of wet sanding and then we will buff that out so I've got my 2000 grit wet sand paper I'm using the foam cleaning block as my backing for it which is holding the water for me so this will level that imperfection down to a consistent imperfection that we can work with and the next step for correcting this damage from the windscreen which is a little it's obviously it's a little deep it's going to be beyond complete correction but we're definitely going to make some improvements here um, our cart polish we need something strong enough to work out those 2000 grit sand scratches and one of my favorite tricks with a golf cart DeWalt sander so low speed I'm going to spread my cart product and then I'll take it all the way up about 10 pounds of pressure low speed there is our finished wet sand spot much improved as you can see the cart polish cleared that up after the wet sanding I would probably say in future on an issue like that with this type of surface uh, 3000 grit would be sufficient we used one ounce of our gloss product on the vinyl now that is a sunblock as well that is sealed Those, the porous surface is sealed this will be much easier to maintain Renew Protect this is not a protectant this is not a silicon solvent like all water blend like they all are this is a dry seal which interlocks and restores truly restores the surface so quite tactile dry interlocking bond rubber plastic vinyl our gloss our satin our black so our lower gloss carbon black content medium gloss and our high gloss which comes packets sample packets or bottles so that is interlocked, interbond, dry seal. Probably would need once a year, it's a typical recommendation for a new protect. Also, you're restoring the surface. It is true restoration. Plasticizers, polymers, that is interbonded and restored that surface and restored that ability to move and stretch. Those polymers will, will not break and that vinyl or plastic rubber will not crack. It would take a long time for dry rubber, if ever to occur on a Renew Protect treated surface. So you can see that interlocking bonds have restored the ability of this older vinyl. And our flooring, Renew Protect Black. Give it that rich black color. We put the carbon black back into the surface. And at this time, we're going to throw in a clip of how we test our product. Well, a good video on how we show off our product. So that dry seal, that inner bonding dry seal, that is going nowhere. That is not coming off. You would have to scrub that quite intensely with a high pH cleaner, like a tire cleaner, to get that off. Um, and, by the way, once you've got your tires sealed, well, any surface sealed up with Renew Protect, you're really not going to need any kind of intensive cleaner like a tire cleaner just a mild soap, a car wash soap, 
All right, let's show the clip. The Renew Protect dry seal UV block. It does not wash off. Renew Protect, no silicones, no oils, no active solvents, nothing coming off as you can see, except steam from our high pressure, uh, high pressure hot water spray. So I'd recommend probably every six months on tires and trim work uh, once a year to every two years. This is a UV block dry seal. This also will prevent dry rot. It'll keep this tire much cleaner. Once you've coated the surface with Renew Protect, you will not need tire cleaner, just mild soap or spray it. So here is what we're working with today. Of course, our cart product, which is a one-step, leaves a ceramic and a polymer sealer. So it's a very strong one-year product, a one-step product. The advanced abrasives in cart will begin to work as a compound, as you saw with the wet sanding scratches, and uh, do heavy corrections, oxidation scratches, and they, as you work them, they break down to a fine finished polish. So, for that reason, we'll start with a foam cutting pad. This is one of my favorite pads in combination with our DeWalt 3 amp sander. It's a 5 inch pad. And we probably will follow that with a light buffing of a polish pad as well with the cart product. So we've got a good opportunity here to explain why you want to restore and seal all your trim work and plastics and vinyl before you buff with our cart product or the product of your choice. This plastic is now sealed over with Renew Protect Black, so it's fully restored. The carbon level is restored beyond manufacturer level. Um, carbon Black is a competitive UV absorber, so it's very important to keep the levels and the tires and the trim um, as high as possible on the Carbon Black, which we've done. But that is now sealed over. That is no longer a porous open surface. So the advantage of that when it comes to detailing, per se with your cart product or any or product of your choice, you can buff right on top of that. That black sealer, you can buff right over it. There will be no white haze. So now you've actually got your plastic sealed with black, in this case, and the polymer ceramic seal of cart on top of, of the black. So when we do a cart, and as we advise the clubs, when they're cleaning their carts on a regular basis, uh, RP11, which I'll show you, is you can spray right over the whole cart, everything except the flooring and the seat and the steering because RP11 also contains ceramic and it may create a slick surface. So this has been buffed out, new microfiber towel. Always use microfiber, only use microfiber. And that is our one-step cart product. So right here, you've got a combination of black and cart, and that will be good to go for a year, hydrophobic seal. So a little further explanation on the buffing the buffing aspect of this detail. So with carts, just as the acrylic windscreen or, or gel coat uh, for boats or RVs, these types of cowls, the painted surface or the solid color surface, you can buff quite intensely. Uh, that's why our cart product has a micro abrasive which starts out quite strong. And I always tend to go with, uh, you know, what I consider a sort of a medium cut pad and a polish pad. Uh, most often, in this case, that was quite adequate. A one-time buffing over quite slowly 
with the cart product. Then we sprayed it down for extra shine, extra protection, sprayed it down with the RP11 and gave it a wipe with uh, microfiber towels. Always and only microfiber towels. But with buffing, you're working with three aspects you need to understand. One thing, your machine. And one, you know, I gotta say, you will never surpass by hand what you can achieve with a machine. And um, we're using quite a simple, you know, a sander, palm sander, which has the oscillation and rotation just as a dual action polisher. They just have a little higher speed and a less a lesser throw, which means a little lesser oscillation, which is compensated for by the speed, so you can get the same results. Um, they work great on a on a car, or our front cowl here, as our, we've been demoing on. I would say I got to tell you the the three aspects are the strength of your product, the ability of your pad, the cut ability, polish ability of your pad, and your machine. So you can always have a balance. If we were to buff this one again, now we've taken out most all of the damage and scratches, oxidation, I would switch over to a lighter pad, same machine, and in this case, we would stick with the same product. If it was a car, I'd switch over to a medium polish or finish polish which would be, in, with Renew Protect, with our line, that would be RP05, is basically a very light version of the cart. So when you're working with a new pad, a fresh, either a new pad or a clean pad is this one, uh, you want to lubricate that pad. And what I mean by lubricate is we're going to use a little excess amount of product to get that pad started. You want to your pad and your product are going to interact and generate a little bit of heat. You need that lubrication and activation of the elements in the product. So two options is to use a spray detailer. In this case, of course, I'm using ours. Give it a light spray. I'm going to give it a one, two spray. That's it. That will help work the cart product or the product of your choice into that pad second option is to sort of overdose it with product. Normally, if the product is already embedded in the pad, you've already done a couple runs, that would be it. That is enough to do half this cowl or per se the full front face of the windscreen and repeat that amount to finish the cowl or finish another body panel. But in this case, being a new pad, if you did not pre-lubricate it with a spray, I would just simply add another bit of product. And then, again, cut it on slow, work it into your surface, take the speed up to a high rating. I typically buff all of these surfaces at a uh, high speed, go at them a little aggressively. And that's it. Removing the product. So we buffed over with our cart product and so you can have a visual on why I recommend always switching out pads quite often. We use two pads to go around this cart, two medium cut pads, and you can see the level of contaminants that came off of this surface. And of course we did the, some of the framing, the steering wheel stem as well, so I would say definitely two, maybe three next time on this one. And that is everything we utilized for our detail today after our prep wash. The black, we used about two ounces. Our gloss, that is a sample packet, we used an ounce of the gloss on our seats. And we went over our tires with the black as a base coat. And then again with the gloss to give you that effect of just high shine. That is the the shiniest combo. Black as a base coat followed by the gloss. One coat of either is quite adequate. So there is our finished cart. That is Renew Protect cart polished by machine followed by RP11 spray detailer. Quite a strong spray detailer. We use the RP11 to wipe down the residue from the, the cart polish. 
So everything is renewed and sealed. Oh, and our top, that's, we used RP-11.